So I wanna talk about um, where Tinsley is reading, um, and I wanna talk about how right now she is reading books at level D, okay? Yeah. What I wanna, I'm gonna go ahead and give this to you, and this is, um, this talks about what our characteristics for level Ds. It talks about things you could do at home. We're gonna kinda go into more depth with this. Um, but I wanna also show you what a level D book looks like. Okay. If you notice, um, so when you're picking up books at the library or you're picking up books at home, you wanna try to find books that have a lot of these characteristics so you can support her as a reader. Um, if you notice, this book has uh, words, about five to 10 words per page. It has very um, detailed illustrations that will support the text. You'll also notice there's a lot of high frequency words. We call them sight words, high frequency words. Those are the words that we um, send home for Tinsley to practice. And especially when you are practicing her sight words, no, you know, maybe remind her, hey, look, that word that we practice is in the text so she can make that connection. When you are um, looking for books at a level D, um, you may also notice how there's some quotation marks, not too many, but maybe you're gonna wanna point out that that's how the character is talking. And as Tinsley is reading, you're gonna really want to encourage her to use strategies to figure out unknown words. And I know sometimes we always wanna say sound it out. And I know sometimes we always wanna say um, just the word. And we wanna encourage her to try and use her own strategies. So when you do notice that she's using her own strategies, um, maybe you wanna to say to her, hey, I noticed that when you read that word, it didn't make sense and you went back and fixed it. Some of these things um, that we're gonna talk about are listed on this page so you can have it for reference. Um, you can also say to her, oh, I noticed that you didn't know that part of the word, but you figured it out using the other parts. Or maybe as she's using different strategies, you might say to her, hey, you made it sound right after you fixed it. So the more you can encourage her to use strategies, um, the better and successful reader she will be. When we're reading with her in class, um, during our guided reading group, that's what we're encouraging and that's what I'm encouraging with her, to use strategies, to look at the word parts, to notice the text features, to notice the sight words. And of course, as you're reading, you wanna talk about the book when she's done. You can also talk about the book as she's reading, but when you're done, not only talk about what the story was about, but maybe you wanna talk about um, what did you learn about the character? Maybe you wanna talk about how is the character feeling and how do you know that? Because you want her to be able to notice the character, notice what they're doing, because if she reads other books, she'll start to make that a habit. A lot of what I just said is also right here so you can use it as a reference. Okay. Um, so what I also wanna talk about with you is you can go ahead and keep this too, okay. is our goal. Our goal for right now is for first graders to be level F readers. And here is a book um, that is a level F. And this is called The Treehouse. Um, I want you to kind of notice how many more words are on the page. I'm gonna bring out this level D book okay. um, so you can kind of compare the difference. And if you notice, there's a lot more words mm -hmm. on the page. Obviously, there's still fabulous illustrations to support the text because you wanna encourage her to use those illustrations. Um, you might also not notice the sentences are a lot longer and there's a lot more quotation marks because there's gonna be more characters talking. And that's something that when you are reading with her that you wanna obviously talk about and notice and observe with her. Because as a level, um, when she's reading D books, we wanna actually really try and encourage her to get to those F books. Um, and again, when she is ready for these books, you want to encourage her to use strategies to figure out those unknown words. You know, encourage her, say, wow, you worked that word out all on your own. Um, I noticed how that word didn't make sense and then you fixed it. Um, I noticed how you put some words together to, um, or the parts of the words together to make it a word. And then I also, you know, encourage her too when she's reading, um, say, wow, I noticed how you made your voice sound a little bit different because when they do that, it makes them understand the book better. Mm -hmm. I also wanna show you um, what our end of the year expectation is. Our mm -hmm. end of the year expectation is to be reading level J books. And if you notice, 
this is an informational book and there's a lot more words um, in the text. Mm -hmm. um, a level J book um, is going to have um, a lot more interpretation. So meaning she's gonna have to understand what is in the text. She's gonna be able to, you know, kind of use some strategies for it to all make sense and get put together. Mm -hmm. You're still gonna have illustrations to support um, the text, but there may not be as many illustrations or they may just be kind of simple. Um, again, when she's ready to read Level J books, um, you want to encourage her to look at those larger words and find smaller words within that. For example, the word dolphin. Maybe she's going to cover up part of it or you're going to encourage her to do that and she can notice that the word in is in it. Mm -hmm. So again, bigger words are made up of smaller words and for her to use those strategies. Um, as she's reading... Um, you know the different levels you want to encourage her to use her voice maybe if it's a question mark you know use her voice going up and down or if it's a period to stop and the more that you can encourage that um, the more she'll have an understanding of the text as again she's working through the levels you want to talk to her about what kind of story is this is it an informational book we use nonfiction we use the words informational it's the same thing but we like to intertwine that vocabulary um, but maybe you're going to ask her about the text of what was the author trying to tell you in this text? Kind of bring in that author piece sometimes too. What was something that surprised you or what was something that you learned? You want to teach her to maybe go back in the text and show you exactly where she saw it so she can um, do text evidence. Okay. The more that you can interact with the book, the better understanding she will be. And I do kind of want to go back to um, where Tinsley, um, how she's reading level D books. And I do want to talk about how we are working on um, strategies with her. We are working on letting her figure out the text. So if you can keep working at home with her, reading with her, using strategies with her, we can hopefully get her to that level F goal. Excellent. Do you have any questions?